Right, lads, Sivsy Vlog here, and welcome to uh, my first video in a really, really long time, actually. Um, I haven't had a video in ages just because I've had um, a lot of family stuff over the Christmas and New Year period. You know, I've got such a big family that I need three or four celebrations to kind of fit everyone in. So, that, you know, a lot of stuff going on. Um, you know, and, you know, New Year's Eve, uh, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, uh, Christmas Eve and everything in between you know so it's been a very hectic kind of Christmas very relaxing one but very kind of hectic but you know what you know that's all done now I'm returning to school on Monday and it's a weird one because when I'm at school I tend to get more um regular videos up which is a weird which is kind of weird so I don't, don't know what that's all about but you know that's just how I seem to do it now unless and this video is just a quick one-off video as Cholton have just confirmed that they have been taken over by a new owner. Um, new owner being Roland, Roland Derschlitt. I, pr I don't know how to pronounce it, I probably absolutely butchered that, but I'm going to I'm going to guess it's Derschlitt. Um, I'm going to read you a quick uh, kind of quote from the BBC Sport page. Um, the 66-year-old com 66 the 67-year-old's company Starbrix MV will acquire 100% of the shares, subject to final legal formalities. Former Addicts Chairman Richard Murray becomes non-executive chairman. Outgoing Chairman Michael Slater will step down from the board of directors after a short handover period, as will directors Tony Jimenez and Martin Prefret. Pref Prefro, there's going to be a lot of names I can't pronounce this. High profile business tycoon Dotschlet, who has made his fortune in electronics, owns a number of Bel a number of clubs across Europe, including Belgian Pro League side Standardly Age. He is involved in politics in his homeland. His takeover follows the collapse of a proposed purchase of Charlton by American businessman Josh Harris, the owner of NBA. Side Philadelphia 66 76ers. So let's so I'm just going to talk about that this matter quickly of the whole takeover thing to Roland Dortschlit. Um, I believe he's only worth about 500 million. I say only that is a lot of money, like an ridiculous amount of money. But for owning four, I think it's four football clubs he owns, or maybe even six, that's not much money. When you think about it, when you think about the kind of money that goes into football these days, five hundred million. I don't know if that's actually his official worth. That's just what I've read up on. That's his worth. Um, he may be worth more than that, and I hope he's worth more than that. Because I don't know whether billion being a billionaire is enough to own a football club anymore. Um, yeah, I think you have to be a a billionaire. Did I say million or? If I what I was meant to say, I don't know if I actually said it or not. What I meant to say is I don't think you can be a millionaire. And own a football club anymore. I think you have to be a billionaire. And that's the kind of money that goes into football these days. Um, but it's definitely it's a lot more money than what either way. It's a lot more money than what we all have we have at the moment. And it's a lot better for business. I think you know it gives us a link with all these other teams. Um, that you look at the kind of simulation, the thing that Watford and Udinese had, where they loaned like their whole first team from Udinese I don't want to do that because I don't because that's just I don't agree with that but uh, a couple of players maybe I think we're already linked with a midfielder from Standard Liège um, and that's not bad and there's, a, there's one topic that everyone's talking about and that is the contracts we've only got four players I believe that um, that have contracts that take them past this year so I think every other player is contract expiring in this summer, which is something we need to address because we're not. I doubt very much we're going to make like twenty signings in the summer window. I mean, we may do, but I doubt it very much. Um, but uh, also Chris Powell's uh, contract, and that's the main thing I want to talk about is Chris Powell's contract. Um, I, as I've said, openly said before on this channel, I'm not Chris Powell's biggest fan. I question his decisions quite often. Um, and to me, I mean, I'm, I, 
a lot of Charlton fans will disagree. To me, it won't be the end of the world if Chris Powell leaves. I wouldn't. I don't really mind either way if Chris Powell leaves or Chris Powell stays. Um, if Chris Powell leaves, then hopefully we can get a better manager in because there's definitely better managers out there. But the risk with Chris Powell leaving is that we won't get a better manager in. That we'll get someone just we'll get just a really bad manager in, you know. And it wouldn't put. Hopefully, this Ron Dorschlit um knows his football and um a quote from uh Richard Murray has come out and said that he does know he believes that Dorschlit does know his football. So hopefully it means that we get a good manager in and a good, you know, whatever else. And, you know, whether if Chris Powell has to leave, I mean, if that means that we're gonna get a success, then that's fine on me. Um uh Dorschlit also has a reputation for, I mean, at San Diego, he sold, sold all their best players and brought in like a new squad, um, which caused outbroil called right riots and that at San Diego. But well, one thing for one, what best players do we have to sell? Really, who who can he sell that like it'll be a huge loss if we sell them? Kermgun, Solly, Cousins, maybe you know, there's no one huge that we can sell that is going to be like oh irreplaceable kind of thing. The and and secondly, Stanley Age are now top of the Belgian Pro League. I know Belgian Pro League isn't great, but it's probably the same sort of level with the Championship, I'd imagine. So uh, it's a very interesting. I'd like to see how it plays out um, and just see how what he does. In terms of videos, tomorrow I'll be uploading a video telling you um, my plans for my personal life and my channel on in 2014. And that's the end of the video guys, so if you liked it, please leave a like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.